hey what's going on guys do you got a in this case uh, an engine that's running like crap but you have no check engine lights on on your dash just your uh, your parking lamp light and your seatbelt lamp light and the car is running like crap as you can kind of see the steering wheel kind of shaking now this car's got a terrible exhaust leak but you got think your car's running like crap and no check engine lights so you can't hook a scan tool on it to figure out why well a couple simple pointers and simple tricks one first does it got gas and are you sure the gas gauge works and if you're not put gas in it fresh brand new gas and is the car still running like crap like this one is well are you getting the correct spark well if you look closely you'll see this engine look at there look at that arcing on the end of that plug wire these plug wires are bad let's see how I can pull that one out see it arcing now I can do the same to this one and look at there doing the same thing because this engine it's only running on two cylinders. You know, plug wires are bad. How do I know it's just the plug wires? Well, because on this engine, it's got a new coil, new electronic module, new cap, new rotor. But, process of elimination, because this car has been setting for, I want to say, three and a half years. Uh, yep. You got a car that's running like crap with no check engine light on, so you got no way of diagnosing it. You know, to, as far as read a check engine light for trouble codes, if it's got a misfire. There you go. Pull the plug wires out. If it stays running the same, you know you got a bad plug wire. If you pull one out and it falls on its ass, that means that plug wire is good. Oh yeah. See, you can see it arcing there. Coming out the sides of that plug wire. Because it's bad. It'll hit sometimes. Oh yeah, it's bad folks. Well, hopefully y'all found this video useful. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Y'all have a great day.